I'm standing right now at a spot that will be the focus of millions of eyes tomorrow because this is the start-finish line at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and it's here that a field of 33 cars and drivers will take the green flag for the 66 running of the Indianapolis 500. Of course, if the weather is like this, nothing will be happening here because Indianapolis cars do not run in the rain. The weather forecast, well, it's for occasional showers. Now, as usual, ABC Sports will be bringing you exclusive same-day coverage of the race, a three-hour program beginning at 9 o'clock Eastern time, except in the Indianapolis area, which will be blacked out. If I were to select one word to describe this year's race, it would be speed. And if that sounds like an obvious statement, consider this fact. The speed with which Johnny Rutherford won the pole two years ago would not even have qualified him to be in this year's race. Two weeks ago today, 30-year-old Rick Mears of Bakersfield, California, winner of the 500 three years ago, established a new qualifying record with an average speed of 207.004 miles per hour for the required four laps. It was a performance that struck awe and fear into the minds of many observers, speeds they thought might be getting out of hand. Average speed for the entire field is more than 197 miles per hour. Well, the same day that Mears set his record, driver Gordon Smiley of Grapevine, Texas, was killed when his car hit the wall head-on, the first driver fatality here in nine years. Four-time winner A.J. Foyt, here for his 25th 500, told Jackie Stewart that even he felt that speeds were entering an uncontrollable area. I think we've gotten ourselves into an area right now that is a dangerous area. It's a very tricky area. You know, the cars feel so superior, so super, but like you say, Jackie, I don't think a man can control the cars at today's present speeds when you're in trouble because once you lose the ground effects it's just like an airplane if both wings fall off you really have no more control this year's race is a family affair like none before it rick mears fastest qualifier is joined in the field by his brother roger slowest of the 33 drivers to qualify then there are three other sets of brothers tom sneva who three times has finished second is here again along with his brother jerry one year the younger Gary Bettenhausen here for the 14th time. Brother Tony making his second appearance. There are three Whittington brothers. Bill is the fastest, Don is the oldest, and Dale makes his rookie appearance at age 22. Now, last Sunday in practice, Bill Whittington almost lost his place in the field. His car out of control smashed into the wall, as you see, but not head on. He was lucky. The car has been repaired. Bill is sore all over, but ready to go tomorrow. One third of the field then will have fraternal connections in this year's race. There'll be great interest in Mexico. Hector Rabaque, a Formula One driver, has qualified for the first time. Jose La Garza, last year's Rookie of the Year, is a national idol back home. Oddly, the most familiar brother act will not race tomorrow. Al Unser's in the field, but Bobby, last year's winner, will be in the pits as manager of the Garza team. So the scene is set. Join us for exclusive three-hour same-day coverage tomorrow evening at 9 Eastern time. The Indianapolis area is blacked out. In a minute, more world in the...